Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Gorillas and Heels. Today I'll be sharing with you 10 brands or items that you need to check out if you're visiting London. This is really special for me having lived in London for a couple of years and these are some of my favourite brands and things that I use and own. The very first brand comes at no surprise that is Rupert Sanderson. If you've been following me for a while, you would know that I spoke about these shoes a couple of times on my channel. Rupert Sanderson is an understated British luxury brand. It's not as prominent as Manolo Blahnik or Roger Vivier. Their shoes are very understated, comfortable and luxurious. Rupert Sanderson trained in Italy. He has worked together with Sergio Rossi and he has also done collaborations with Karl Lagerfeld. I have two pairs of Rupert Sanderson shoes and these are the classic shoes with the pebble on top. The pebbles usually come in gold or silver and sometimes they also have more interesting marble designs. Multiple members of the royal family have also been seen wearing Rupert Sanderson's shoes and Kate Middleton is a big fan of the brand. She was spotted wearing the classic suede heels from the brand multiple times. I have two tips for you if you're looking to buy this brand. So they do have a boutique at Mayfair, but if you're living in the UK or London, you can actually Google for sample sales. They do have clearance once in a while and their classic shoes go on sale for £100, which is 20-25% of the usual retail price. The second tip is that if you're visiting Vista Village, which is an hour from London, and you can get these shoes at discounted prices. So I got my beach pair from, I believe I paid around £220, but I think the prices have gone up since then. Note that if you are shopping at outlet malls, they may not have the colour or size that you want. The second brand to check out is Fortnum & Mason's. If it's your first time in London, you definitely need to pay a visit to the Fortnum & Mason store in Piccadilly. And because I love history and the stories behind brands, Fortnum & Mason's was founded by William Fortnum, who was a doorman at Queen Anne's household back in the day. And the royal family had an obsession with burning new candles every single night. And because there was a huge amount of unused wax, Fortnum decided to resell this. He was also owning a grocer as a part-time business and he managed to convince his landlord Hugh Mason to be his associate. And together, William Fortnum and Hugh Mason founded the first store in St. James Market in 1707. This is a great place to visit if you want to have scones or afternoon tea. And there are so many products for you to buy, you definitely will be tempted by all the pretty packaging. Their cookies, tea, jam and honey make for really good presents. And for me, what I always buy is the Fortnum & Mason's Earl Grey Tea. I am a big fan of Earl Grey Tea. I drink it every single day. And the one from Fortnum & Mason's is my favourite. Something interesting for those of you who are not familiar, if you walk around the United Kingdom, you will see that some brands have the royal crest on it. And these are warrants that the royal family grants to the brands. The warrant enables the supplier to advertise the fact that they do actually supply goods or services to the royal family. So Fortnum and Masons hold two warrants. The first one is granted by Queen Elizabeth II and the second one is granted by Charles who was Prince of Wales at that point in time. He's currently king. One tip I have is if you're making a quick stop into London and you don't have time to go all the way down to Piccadilly, they do stock up their cookies and tea in train stations like King's Cross or in the airports like Heathrow and Stansted. So you can definitely grab a couple of items from there. The very third brand is Molten Brown. This is a fragrance and soap brand founded in the UK. They also do have a royal warrant granted by Queen Elizabeth II while she was still alive. And I know Jo Malone has been really popular in the last couple of years, but I find Molten Brown to be more classic. They are very known for their hand wash, their lotions, their diffusers and the brand is cruelty free. They produce formulas that are 100% vegetarian and they also do not test on animals. I find their packaging to be very luxurious and these really make for good presents. The fourth brand that I would recommend is Anthropology. Now, this is not a British brand, it's a brand from the United States, but because the store is along Regent Street, it's hard to miss and it's right next to Molten Brown. So if you're doing some shopping, you may want to visit the store. It's a really beautiful store. Anthropology brings in very quirky items from clothing to accessories to homeware. And if there's one thing I recommend buying from Anthropology, 
would be its alphabet marks. So something to share, when I was getting married, we actually bought the alphabet marks from Anthropology with our initials on it and we filled the marks with bouquet of flowers to decorate the welcome table and after the wedding, we got to keep those marks as souvenirs. I find it to be a meaningful way to beautify the place. The marks are not expensive, they cost about 12 to 15 pounds I believe. So this is something that you may want to check out if you want to pick up a mug for yourself or if you're looking to decorate an area. The fifth brand to check out is Oliver Bonus and I find this to be very similar to Anthropology in the sense that they bring in very quirky, interesting and fun items. So they have household items, accessories, and what I love from Oliver Bonus is its cards. So every time when I'm walking past, I'll pop in to look at their cards to see if there are any fun happy birthday, thank you or congratulatory cards that I can pick up. The very next brand is Charlotte Tilbury. I think this brand needs no introduction. At this point, it is an international well-known brand, but buying it from the UK is definitely a lot cheaper. Now, Charlotte Tilbury has so many winning products from its bronzer to its magic cream to its setting spray. And the product that I have is the Magic Skin Hydrating Mist. And what I really like about it is that it provides you this final layer of hydration after you've laid on your makeup. It contains hyaluronic acid and niacinamide, so these very important ingredients. This is perfect for traveling when your skin gets a bit tired or when it needs an extra boost of hydration. You can just spray it on your face to freshen up. Trust me, once you step into Charlotte Tilbury, you will be tempted to pick up a lot of items because everything just feels really good. The next brand is my personal favorite and that is Wedgwood. So Wedgwood is a luxury porcelain and fine china maker based in England and Wedgwood has been granted a royal warrant by Queen Elizabeth II when she was alive. The British monarchy and many head of state use Wedgwood in their homes and to grace different occasions. So we got our first Wedgwood when we got married and it was a present from ourselves to ourselves and we have been using it ever since and we waited for the Christmas sale to then and buy a couple of plates and teacups and ever since we have been expanding the collection. So these are some plates that I have from the Wedgwood collection and what I love about it is that the patterns are so intricate, the colors are so bright and it really makes my day using these plates. I talked about this in my top 10 items gift guide video so do check that out if you have not already. What I would recommend for Wedgwood is you don't have to drop a huge sum of money buying the entire collection because that can be very expensive. Buy a few pieces like one or two plates and then slowly add to your collection. The next brand is LK Bennett. This brand was made popular by Kate Middleton because she was seen wearing many of their items from their dresses to shoes. I love, love, love their shoes. They are so comfortable. And if you don't want to pay five, six hundred pounds for luxury shoes, LK Bennett is a good middle ground. I think they have increased prices quite a fair bit in the last couple of years. But what I would recommend is to buy them on sale. So LK Bennett goes on sale fairly often. Their classic palms are the florets and they have this in the smooth leather version and the suede versions. I have a couple of shoes from LK Bennett and my favorite shoe is this black pair of suede shoes with this ball of pearls on top. I bought them for only £70, so it was a really good deal. And I think this is my favorite pair of shoes in my shoe collection. And the next brand to check out is Neil's Yard Remedies. They do have a store down in Coven Garden and I love the smell of their products. They only use the finest natural and organic herbs in making their products. They do a lot of creams, essential oils and something to share is one of my best facials was done at Neil's Yard. I felt that my skin was so soft and supple after that facial. This brand is good for people with sensitive skin because the ingredients that they use are all natural. So the very last brand is Primark. I know this might be a little bit controversial. I do want to point out that be very mindful when you shop at Primark because things might seem cheap at first glance, but if you really touch and feel the products, not everything is of good quality. And if you just grab random things, 
your total cost can add up very quickly. I picked up this t-shirt last month while I was there and it says Panel Chocolate Team. I love it, it's really cute and it costs £3. They have two stores in London at both ends of Oxford Street. The first one is at the start of Oxford Street at Tottenham Court Road and the second one is at Marble Arc. If you go to the Primark at Tottenham Court Road, they do have a beauty bar where you can do your nails and your brows, which was what I did. Um, I threaded my brows for I believe £10 or £12 so it's really affordable and I thought the service was quite good so that's something that you might want to check out. That comes to the end of my video. Thank you all for watching. It means a lot to me. Let me know if you like this Around the World series where I share different brands and items to check out in different countries in the world. If you have not already, like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's great to see you all. Have a great week ahead and see you all in my next one. Take care and goodbye.